In this lecture, I will discuss about the some numerical of the means theorem, application of the means theorem. So in this question, it will given to find I using Thevenin's theorem. You have to find this current I flowing through this 12 ohm resistor using Thevenin's theorem. <coughs> so in this Thevenin's theorem, I have to replace the load. Your load is 12 ohm here. Load means where you have to find the current I. You have to replace this 12 ohm resistor by open circuit and find VOC or voltage across this. Then you have to send from this 12 ohm resistor and replace the sources, voltage sources by short circuit and current source by open circuit and find RTH. So I have to find the VTH first. I have to redraw the circuit and open circuit this 12 ohm resistor. I will draw like this. Circuiting this 12 ohm resistor. You have to find this voltage across this 12 ohm resistors. This is your 40 ohm, this is 60 ohm, this is 40 ohm, this is 60 ohm. You have to find this open circuit voltage VTH. How I find this VTH? I have to take this point as ground. This is your zero volt. Let this point be V1 potential. This is your V2 potential. Then your VTH will be V1 minus V2. Cross point is connected to V1 minus this to V2. So VTH will be V1 minus V2. I have to find this V1 and V2. Your V1 will be voltage across the 60 ohm resistors. Because this point is V1, this point is 0. So 60 ohm resistors across 60 ohm resistor, your voltage is V1. And across this 40 ohm resistor, your voltage is V2. This is V2, this is 0. So 40 ohm resistor it will be V2. So V1 minus V2 will give VTH. So I have to find this V1. This current, this current. Here your current is coming. This is divided in these two paths. This path and this path. Because no current is flowing through this load because your load is open circuited so this current will flow like this let this current be i1 this current be i2 then your i1 will be i1 will be this 40 and 60 is connected in series and net voltage across this 40 and 60 is 100 volt so your i1 will be 100 volt your 100 volt this source voltage directly applied to this 40 and 60 combination so 100 volt divided by 40 plus 60 this will be 1 ampere. <coughs> so your V1, your V1, this potential is this current I1 into resistor 60 ohm. So V1 will be I1 into 60. This will be 1 into 60. This will be 60 volt. So V1 is 60 volt. What is your V2? In this circuit, your I2 is flowing between 60 and 40. So your I2 is so I2 is 100 volt is also applied across this, this 40 and 60 combination. So your I2 will be 100 divided by 40 plus 60. This will be also 1 ampere. So your V2, your V2 is I2 into 100. this register 40. This will be 1 into 40. This will be 40 volt. So what is VTH? Your VTH is V1 minus V2 which is 60 volt minus 40 volt which will be 20 volt. So your VTH is 20 volt. I press this open so it terminals. Then I have to find the RTH. How I find the RTH? From this open so terminal I have to see the equivalent resistance by short circuiting this idle voltage source. Then I have to redraw the circuit again like this. So if I short circuiting these two points, then from this it is clearly 
see that your 40 and 60 ohm are connected in parallel because these two points are sorted so this 40 and 60 these two resistors are connected in parallel and this 60 and 40 also connected in parallel because your end points are same because these two points are sorted so your RTH will be your RTH will be 40 parallel to 60 plus 40 parallel to 60 by redraw this circuit, by redraw this circuit, then it will be seen like this from this terminal. This uh, forty and sixty are connected like this. Forty ohm and sixty ohm are connected like this. This point is sorted. This point will be taken to this side, and from this side, another. On this side also, 60 ohm and 40 ohms are connected in parallel. So this point is sorted. 60 and 40 are connected in parallel, and this is your negative point. So I have to see from this, from this point. This is clearly seen as 4060 parallel, 4060 parallel, and then connected in series. 4060 parallel it will be 60 into 40 divided by 60 plus 40. It will be 24 plus 24. This will be raised to 24 plus 24 will be 48. Then I have to find this current I. I find the VTH and RTH. Then I have to replace the entire network VTH in series with RTH and then connect the series load, which is the 12 ohm. I will connect like this. This will be your VTH in series with RTH, entire network. Then the load, which I open circuited initially, which will be RL. So I have to place the value. Your VTH will be 40 volt. Sorry, your VTH is uh, your VTH is 20 volt. This is your VTH. Your VTH is 20 volt. Your RTH is 48 ohm. Your RTH is 48 ohm. And your RL, your RL is this. This is 12 ohm. So your current I will be this current I flowing through this 4 ohm, 12 ohm also. This current I is equal to VTH 20 divided by 48 plus 12. This will come 20 divided by 60, which is 1 by 3, 0.33 MA. This will be your answer. So, in this question, what I done? First, open circuit this 12 ohm resistor because I have to find the current through this 12 ohm resistor. Then, I find the open circuited voltage VTH which is V1 minus V2, I have to find this V1, V1 is the voltage across the 60 ohm resistors, then this V2, which is the voltage across the 40 ohm resistors, so I find the V1 minus V2, you can directly apply the voltage division formula also, your 100 volt is present in 40 and 60, so you can directly apply the voltage division formula, V1 is equal to 100 into 60 divided by 40 plus 60, directly you can say 60 volt, and your V2 will be 40 volt, then VTH will be V1 minus V2, it will be 20 volt, and then I find the RTH, by replacing your uh, idle voltage source by short circuit, your 4060 connected in parallel, 4060 connected in parallel, then net will be series, your RTH will be 48 ohm. Then I find the current I, I is equal to 40 divided by RTH, 20 divided by RTH plus RL, your 20 is the VTH, so it will be 1 by 3, which is 0 0.33 and I have to solve the next question. In this question, it also given to find I using Thevenin's theorem. So what I have to do? Find I in this 3 ohm resistor, so I have to open this 3 ohm resistor first and find the VTH, then from this terminal I have to see the RTH by replacing the voltage source by short circuit. So I have first time find the VTH. Redrawing the circuit by open circuiting the 3 ohm resistor. By open circuiting the 3 ohm resistor, this will be your VTH. This will be 2 ohm, this will be 2 ohm, this is your 50 volt, this will be 2 ohm. So I have to find this VTH. I have to find this VTH. So your VTH will be, your VTH will be this current. There will be no current flowing through this element. So this current I, this current I have to find this, this then find the two voltage across this 2 ohm resistor. Then apply KVL in this loop and find the VT. So I have to find this V first. This V will be this current into 2 ohm resistors. So what is this V? This current, this current I will be simply 100 divided by 4, which is 25 ampere. 
and this B voltage will be this current I into 2 ohm resistor so 25 into 2 this will be 50 volt this B will be 50 volt then I have to apply the KVL in this loop in this loop I have to apply the KVL because no current is flowing through the, in this loop this is open circuit so no current will be flowing through this so there is no drop across the 1 ohm resistor which, but your 50 volt is present here so I have to apply KVL in this loop then you see it will be 50 this voltage is 50 plus minus 50 50 plus 50 minus VTH is equal to 0 so your VTH will be 100 no current is flowing through this one of resistors but your 50 volt is present so this VTH is will be 100 volt and for RTH I have to see from this terminal again we draw in the circuit again we draw in the circuit this is 100 volt this is 2 ohm this is 2 ohm I have to sort this voltage 50 volt also I have to sort this 100 volt also because while finding the RTH you have to sort all the independent voltage sources I have to sort I have to sort this 100 voltage source also and then your 2 ohm this is your 2 ohm 2 ohm this will be your 2 ohm sort the 50 volt source also sorting this 50 volt source also your 1 ohm is present and across this load from here I have to see the RTH this is your 1 ohm what is your RTH? Clearly it is in that these two two are connected in parallel which in series with the one. So your two parallel to two in series with one. So two parallel to two one, one plus one, this will be two ohm. So your RTH is two ohm. So what is the current I? You have to replace this entire network by VTH and RTH and connect this three ohm register in series with the So you have to connect your VTH, RTH, and you have to connect the RL. RL means the load initially I have concentrated the load RL is this 3 ohm so your RL is 3 ohm and your RTH is 2 ohm and your VTH is 100 volt the VTH is 100 volt so what will be the I flowing through this RL so the I will be 100 VTH divided by RTH plus RL which is 2 plus 3 100 by 5 it will be 20 so what I what I did here same thing Replace first I open the 3 ohm resistors and find the VTH across it by applying KVL I find the VTH 100 volt then from these terminals I have to find the RTH I sort all the independent voltage sources and find the RTH and then I have to replace the entire network by VTH RTH in series with 